Welcome. In this module, we'll look at critical security control from CIS uh, control number eight, which talks about malware defenses. And this is a very, very important uh, control, which gives us certain guidance on how to configure the anti-malware software or tools which we're using in our enterprise. And we are at uh, CSC8, or critical security control, from the top 20 security controls of CIS. And this is part of the foundational controls. And the title here is Malware Defenses. Now, Control 8.1 tells us, utilize centrally managed anti-malware software. And this could be an antivirus, or it could be other types of um, anti-malware software. Also now, what is appearing is that the network malware protection is available um, at the edge so that the next generation firewall has uh, certain features, for example, antivirus protection, anti-malware protection, uh, and also email anti-spam protection and web filtering protection as well. So this is all bundled together in the next generation firewall at, which is available at the edge. And then inside the organization, you can also implement anti-malware solutions, for example, on the desktops and servers, you can implement it through the antivirus. Um, and uh, there are other solutions available which could, for example, protect against rootkits or which could protect against ransomware. So 8.1 detail tells us, utilize centrally managed anti-malware software to continuously monitor and defend each of the organization's workstations and servers. And that, for example, is antivirus software with an additional capability, for example, of, uh, of the anti... Um, the, the protection against the rootkits or the protection against ransomware. 8.2 tells us ensure anti-malware software and signatures are updated. It's very important to keep an eye and make sure that these are updated because the anti-malware protection usually works from, uh, the from the signature method. So whatever the traffic is coming in, it will look at the signature of that traffic and match it with malicious traffic signatures. And if there's a match, then it will block it. So it's, since it's dependent upon signatures, so uh, it's important to update the signatures so that we have the latest protection. Ensure that the organization's anti-malware software is, is, updates its scanning engine and signature database on a regular basis. 8.3, enable operating system anti-exploitation features and deploy anti-exploit technologies. So enable anti-exploitation features such as data execution prevention, DEP, or address space layout randomization, ASLR, that are available in an operating system or deploy appropriate toolkits that can be configured to apply protection to a broader set of application executables. So what has happened is that as the attacks have become more advanced and the types of uh, damage that they cause has become very intense, so that now these additional advanced technologies are available uh, that, like DEP or ASLR, that are available now in feature sets, as feature sets in the software or the anti-malware software that we are using. So you should study the manual or search that how in your next generation firewall or in your antivirus uh, or anti-malware protection solution, how you can enable these features. 8.4, configure anti-malware scanning of removal devices. So whenever we insert a USB device or other media, um, we should configure devices so that they automatically conduct an anti-malware scan of removable media when inserted or connected. And this can be done on servers, and it can be done on workstations. And generally, the rule of thumb is that you should disable uh, the uh, removable device connectivity um, because the USBs and these uh, other me removable media usually are cause of spreading uh, malicious malware. 8.5, configure devices not to run auto-run content. So what, sometimes what happens is that if you connect a camera into your workstation, it will automatically uh, start finding, um, you know, it will run the auto run and it will display the media and the music and the photographs. So that's something that we should disable uh, auto run on workstations and servers and other IT assets so that uh, whenever media is connected, it doesn't, um, you know, auto run because we're trying to protect the automatic running of malicious uh, software which could be in the removable device. That's all that we have for this module. Thank you.